Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for My Hero Academia Chapter 207. Okay, so to start off with, I think at this point, this we, we can all assume that this exercise has brought up the worst in Vlad, because he's literally, he's literally a second, he's literally the original version of Monoma, and granted I still like him as a character, but it, there... I think I think this I think this chapter is also the beginning of this chapter is also cemented that that I'm I'm that I'm going to probably be saying that like w whenever he acts like that I'm basically going to be saying please stop Vlad we've we've already got one giant ego in your class to deal with we, with I, I don't think we I don't think we, we basically need another although I I guess if I'm fair, I guess to be a little fair on him, I I I do still like Vlad a lot more a lot more than Monoma, so I guess take that for what it is. But yeah, Vlad, please, I'm I'm begging you. I I, I like you, but ugh. I I I I don't like the cocky side of you. Okay, so just just try to tone it down, please. Uh, but I mean I mean I, I guess the guy does. I mean, as the guy pointed out, I guess he does have reason to be cocky, but, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's almost getting to be almost, almost just as annoying as Monoma. Not there yet, but, yep, not there yet, thankfully. He's managed to keep it somewhat at an even level, but, yeah. <laughs> um, and, yeah, let's talk about Bakugo in this chapter, because there is definitely a clear sign that he's... That he's taking what what he's l learned up to this point, definitely to heart. Like he's taking every like he's taken everything he's learned in, in from from basically the from, from from the end of term test that, that he had where he teamed up with Izuku all, all the way to all the way to um all the way to all, all, all the way to his all the way to to his to 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 to, to, to the to the fact that he had to re he had to redo the provisional license exam. He's taken. All that to heart, and and what we got, and what we got in this was def, and what we got in this chapter was definitely a sign of that, was proof of that. I mean, him, I mean, j just alone with the fact that he was willing to listen and strata, that he was willing to kind of listen to people and kind of strategize, li listen and strategize, and even work just alone, work with people, on and how to utilize everyone's strengths in his group. I think is proof enough that. Is proof enough that, that yeah he's he he's 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 definitely he's he's definitely he's definitely up there for sure as as definitely one one of the top two heroes and I th I think this this is definitely gonna make a lot of Bakugo fans happy because j j just everything he was doing in this chapter it's like it, it's it's an it's indeed a vast improvement from like how from how he was so it's it, it's it's one of those Bakugo has always kind of been one of those things where. He, 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 where of course you, you do need to look past the the arrogance, but even but even but but even in this chapter, if you if you really look at if you really look at what he's if you really really look at his whole the the, the, the even even though he was hot headed, the, 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 if you look at the entire chapter, the, the, there really wasn't any any really signs of arrogance. Really, it was just him cooperating with with the with his group. So yeah, that alone is is proof and. And yeah, so so the, yeah, all that is like proof alone enough. But he, he, to even put a, even more of a topper on it, what was the last page? And and Izuku and All Might's thought bubbles pretty much said it all. Like obviously, Baku learned the importance of saving people in previous arcs and whatnot. But he also knew for the longest time that his power wasn't. He 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 also he he basically learned from throughout the series also that his power wasn't exactly suited towards saving people in a specific way. So the only logical conclusion from there was to incorporate his weakness into his strength. In Bakugo's case, fighting is how he'll save people, and it's it is a little backwards in the way it just in the way it sounds, but at the same time, it fits. It, it fit. It also fits. It fits for him because it it repre in a way. It also represents how how he's viewed All Might, how he's viewed All Might. So, 
So, yeah, you, you could say his views on heroism have developed even further and even come full circle in this chapter. Like, he's he, he's basically done what, what, what basically Izuku, he's done what, what Izuku has been doing. He, he's incorporated his, his beliefs and ideals in, in basically how he, in, 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 in how, how he basically conducts himself as a hero. With, with Izuku, we pretty much know, we, we've known, we, we've basically seen it time and time again of, of how he, of of how he he believes, of how of his beliefs of how how he believes a hero should act, with Bakugo that now here with Bakugo we basically we we seen pretty much that, that that exact same thing he's incorporated his beliefs on what he, of how of how he understands of 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 his understanding of what kind of hero he wants to be. In in correlation to All Might, and it's been incorporated here. He's incorporated his his fighting style, his his beliefs. He's incorporated everything into just the kind of hero he wants to be in this chapter. So yeah, <clears throat> um, I like how this chapter also put a lot more spotlight on Jiro and Sero, uh, and and Sero especially because even though his actions in the chapter were very minimal you, you could still argue that, that that they pretty much mattered what were, 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 were that hit that all of Sero's actions it mattered where it needed to because if Sero hadn't made that tape barrier it probably would have been it probably would have been a lot harder for Bakugo to free the others like 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 Sero's like Sero's tape barrier it actually reduced the effects of that of that glue liquid or that or that adhesive it actually it actually helped to hold back the adhesive liquid so at which which allowed him to form like a bit of a a bit of a cocoon or something which which would be which would be easier for for basically Bak which was easier for Bakugo to break through because he wouldn't even need to work because if that because in that situation he would he would need to worry less about actually harming people too so there's that um and and if and if Sero hadn't done that then it would have been a lot harder for it would have been a lot harder for Purush Bakugo to free the others and of course we see, G and of course aside from the set, what Sero did, we also see Jiro doing her thing in this chapter, although I'd be lying if I said I would have liked to see her fight. I would have liked, I would have liked, would have actually liked to see her like, like engage in a battle or something like, I want to, I want to see her, I want to see her, her fighting abilities and how they've improved now, but, but I, I think, I think, but it's only one chapter and since this exercise has only begun, I'm sure we'll see a lot more from Ev from everyone very soon like we're gonna see from from Seto, Jiro and uh and and even and, and, and even even Sugar Man so yeah um also we, we get to see Toko Kage also we, we get we get to see uh, it, it was it was Tokage's quirk in well we, we get to see what, what pretty much Tokage's quirk can do in this chapter which I'll be honest with with, with her with how 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 she explained her abilities in this chapter it wasn't. It's one of those things where it. It's not what I was expecting. Yet at the same time, I had this small inkling it might be something like that. And I don't. I don't know how to properly describe it to you guys. It's just something where you're like, uh, oh, so, oh, so that's also, oh, so, that that that's what it is. Like I I kind of had a feeling her. I guess in the sense of her of her body of her being able to split her body parts apart i thought it would just be limited to like her tail or something like that but if it if it's her entire body then yeah and in and in a lot of ways her ability reminds me of the berry berry fruit from one piece like berry berry fruit from one piece in the in the any arc it, it was it was it was it was an ability that that a marine had to like in order to split his body into like orbs and whatnot, but but in in this case, I feel I feel that, that I feel I feel that that from Tokage's quirk has a has a bit more of a more practical application than the berry berry fruit because the way Tokage's quirk works does it actually makes her perfect kind of hero for espionage or just spying in general because it, it, as you see the, 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 there's one panel where we actually see like. Uh, pretty much, it'd be a piece of her eye. So yeah, we definitely know that that, that 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 this quirk it probably has both um, it has both combat and espionage applications. So it's it's honestly, it's probably one of the more well-rounded quirks I'd say for sure. Um. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry I can't end this review without talking about one of those gag comics at the end. And 
out of all of them, the one that had me laughing the most was Romance's start. Because, I'll be honest, me and Bakugo's dad, we, we kind of share similar tastes when it comes to women. I mean, with me, I'm, I, I def, I'm definitely not, I definitely don't, I definitely don't, I don't like a woman as forceful or scary as Bakugo's mom, but in my case, I don't mind a strong-willed woman myself. Like I'm, and and since I live here in Canada, I don't think that's, I don't think it'll be a problem for, for that one day I find myself a strong-willed woman. Cause trust me, that there's plenty of them here in Canada. But uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that gag comic was really hilarious. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and you list to Crunchyroll. Death Night of Enemy, signing off. Later, guys.